Hey everyone, it's Ivan with kitbadger.com, out here with Graham Bates of GB Guns. And today we're going to be seeing what's for dinner. Why don't you go ahead and run us through what we're going to be doing today. All right, well we do uh, three shots of ten different loads uh, for 9 mil. For most handguns we try to keep it at, at ten, rifle we do five. Uh, and the idea is to see what the gun will eat, hence the name what's for dinner. Uh, super lightweight like these Inceptors at 65 grain. Very lightweight. To heavy subsonic 158 grain. Um, and it's crazy the, the weight difference in a box of these things. Uh, but the what we notice is some guns are meant for just 115s or 124s. Some guns, their design intention is a carry gun versus a range gun or competition gun. And all that can go into play as to what the gun will run. And rather than have people get excited about a gun and have a favorite ammo and then get home and the two don't match. Yeah. Uh, we want to run through and see what, what these guns will eat. Uh, between projectile weight, shape, material, and there's a pretty significant difference between those two. Dang. Uh, overall length, the ogive, which is where the curvature starts on the projectile, all of that is different from load to load, bolt type to bolt type, and it'll affect whether or not it feeds, whether or not there's enough energy to cycle the gun. We want to see will it feed from slide lock, generate enough energy to cycle and feed another of the same type and generate enough energy to lock open on an empty magazine. So really this can be done with just two rounds. We do three to cut down on variables. We don't do a full mag or a full box because, well, that's expensive and time consuming. Yes, it is. And Very. We've had guns fail on round two. Um, if that happens, we give it another try just to make sure that wasn't a random round and move on. And this target have, happens to have 10 nice identical points of aim and what we've noticed too granted shooter can be a variable uh, that point of impact will change and group size will change and okay it could be the shooter but it can also be the interaction between the gun and the ammo and if you end up with nine all hitting nine loads all hitting pretty much the same spot and then one that is way low left could be the, of ammo yeah probably and ev even if it's the shooter, sometimes it's a shooter because of the ammo, because okay. some of these loads you'll find have more recoil than others. Some are snappier, some are a push, each have a different feel. So we'll try these 10 loads out and uh, let us know what you think each load and the paper will tell us what the gun thinks. Cool. All right, um, for this, we're gonna be using a P365XL I have. So we're gonna go ahead and go jam up three rounds of this lightest load. Right here is some Inceptor, 65 grain. Definitely kind of snappy in this little gun. Right here is some Winchester Super Clean, 90. I don't know if it shot better, but I shot better. Right here is some heavy duty 100 grain by Heavy Shot. It's heavy duty. Right here is some Norma MHP 108. Finally getting into some defensive loads for a little defensive pistol. Between the different loads, I don't know that uh, felt a huge difference as far as recoil impulse or anything like that, like probably psychological. Felt like it was shooting with authority because now I have hollow points. 
Next up, we have some fancy silver bear, not to be confused with brown bear. And this is zinc washed steel cased, 115 grain. Feels a little bit snappier. Next up is some um, Yavex 115 grain. It should be good because it shows like a fireball coming out of it on the box. Pretty sure I hit the target. A little bit snappy. Right here we have some American Eagle 124 grain subsonic. Shoots pretty smooth. Right here is some Norma 124 hexagon, hollow points. A little bit snappier. Right here we have SB 140 subsonic. feel like definitely more of a kind of push coming through. And lastly, just in time with some rain, we have some PPU 158 grain. Let's start shot pretty good. Right here I finished up what is the lion's share of what's for correct as we work through figuring out basically if something will or will not eat the ammo. Right here going from the lightest, which how many? 65 grain. It's really light. <laughs> and making our way down and then finally ending up with I think 158 grain. Yeah. Yeah, which is really heavy. Uh, Definitely kind of recoil impulse difference going through that stuff. I think in that relatively small sample size, I actually like this. Uh, that was a 108 by Norma, right? They're yes. hollow points. Yeah, the MHP. Yeah, those, uh, those felt good. And I managed to hit, which was good. Not totally sure what happened up here or a couple of these random flyers, but... Well, what I ended up. And so on, on our channel, we're doing it to help people understand before you get this gun, is there an ammo you want to avoid or an ammo you may yeah. want to seek out? But when it's a gun you already know and you've trained with and had experience with, I think it's interesting too, because you've, it, the training, your, your hand, your wrist, your arm, your mind is all expecting something when you squeeze that trigger. And if the recoil impulse is a little different, it can sort of change some of the at the very least mental mechanics yeah and some of the shots that came off like this was the yavex 115 the the stuff with the flaming bullet on yes. the box and it has muzzle flash and it makes it bright and it can it can be a little alarming even on a gun that you're comfortable with because you probably haven't seen that much muzzle flash with each shot um so it, it's uh it's an interesting experiment to know what your gun will run then the, also if you're going to do 
training or competition or anything high volume count, kind of finding the sweet spot of what shoots smoother. You can, I think, theoretically find a difference in split times or find a difference in how your wrist feels after 500 rounds by finding what runs smooth. Yeah. No, I, I think it's awesome. I think there's a ton of value in that, that you're providing for people like through your channel, especially people looking to purchase a pistol and like, hey, here's what you can expect from it. And you do this for all the pistols you review, right? All pistols, uh, 10 loads, assuming that we have 10 loads. Uh, on rifles, we do five loads, uh, but 10 shot groups at 100 yards using two different shooters. Okay. We're not looking to show that this particular gun is the most accurate thing out there so much as what you can expect on a day on the range. If Which you... is a quarter MOA laser beam for every gun or it's worthless according to the internet. For sure, for sure. That's... Low light, thousand yard. Yeah. Gray death adder could do it. So. <laughs> for sure. But uh, if people want to uh, check out your content, where do they go to find it? Uh, look for GB Guns. All one word. Golf, Bravo, Golf. Guns. Right on. Well, as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.